Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. So today I'm here with part 5. So uh, let me know if you guys are getting tired and then I'll just finish up um, uh, some stuff and then we can go move on uh, to our cover and decorate that. And uh, because I know this is already part 5, so you guys um, might be getting a little bored. Uh, so just leave me uh, in the comments because there's a lot of uh, different things that you can do. Obviously, um, the possibilities are endless. So um, if you guys want to move on to um, the cover and finishing up the book, just go ahead and leave me a comment and uh, I can do that in the next video. So, so far, I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, I still didn't put this part yet but other than that I put everything else so again I put the pockets on both sides here of my flap and you can see that I just tuck something there that's part of the cardstock and our chocolate malt and I just use the uh, my favorite thing stitched circle die so you can use any of your um, like dies to create different things here I have just a bingo card here just um, just to show you uh, I did it both the same paper go ahead and put that back in and then when we open it up so I shared uh, that I did this um, and we still need to uh, kind of go over this as well um, so there's still plenty of things that we can do here I have added something else so this is our flap as you can see this is our flap cover and I did put a belly band here um, so we can tuck something small in there we can put tags uh, so on and so forth this place is still I uh, don't have anything here on this side however let me tuck this back in I don't think I did anything to the back side of the tag but over here as you can see I put a little clip in here we put a accordion fold right there remember that long tag I still have some and I just uh, trimmed it so that it would fit in here and so just like so I thought that was pretty Okay, and then on the back I just have um, just regular matting with um, plain paper here I just I just put this here just to show you so we can create uh, tags with our leftover pattern paper um, okay and then here I have one of the uh, the envelopes this is a policy envelope type here I just um, we can do that if you want so let me know what you guys are interested in working on next um, if you want me to continue or you want me to uh, finish and just go to the cover and the binding so I just put a clip there to just keep that in place and then um, yeah, that was that so uh, we have our belly band here and then this is the same and I just put a flower here this is part of the paper that I had fussy cut out and I had adhered it just over here bottom and over here so there's a little gap here so we can tuck like miscellaneous uh, items here for embellishing and stuff like that but you can still take it out we can put journaling on the back if we like so I did that still haven't uh, matted that yet okay this is still the same here I haven't done anything new I don't think I did okay so here is that here's another pocket here and I put another pocket somewhere but um, st we still have flaps left over okay let's see so these are the ladies um, that's how big the cut aparts were they're very long 
So I just trimmed them down a little bit, cut it into three and put it in that accordion fold. And I just put the rest in here for now because um, we might do another accordion fold somewhere. Okay, and then you flip it over. Same thing here. I just added another area here for a tag, but the rest of the mats don't have anything else. And then on the last uh, page here where we created the, our second belly band, actually it's our third now, and these are still um, empty, but I did go ahead and put a pocket here. Okay, so over here. I have a lot of uh, paper over here, kind of, just to uh, give you an idea. Anyways, so that's that. So this is what I have so far, and our book is getting kind of, um, not full, but it's getting there, and you know, we can stop it right here and just finish it up, so let me know. But um, for one, the belly band, I wanted to create a little something so we can tuck it in there. So this is what I have. So I went ahead and created this. I want to create um, kind of like a matchbook style of tags. So I went ahead and did this part. And just to kind of show, I didn't really do anything with this, but I kind of made like a tag just to show you and can tuck them in in the pockets. I haven't adhered uh, these yet, but we can uh, do that and we can make several. I would say I wanna make about three, three of these. So three pairs and then we're gonna um, cover it with um, cardstock and to make like a matchbook style with the belly band and we can just tuck it in the bit um the existing belly band so let's go ahead and make this now so you're going to be needing let me I have all these pattern paper here so let's go ahead and start with I'm going to grab an eight eight and a half by eleven. I'm gonna cut it in half like we would uh, for a card uh, this way. Uh, let's see, five and a half. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna just cut both at the same time. And we're gonna cut this. This is already eight and a half, and that's what we need. Eight and a half by three. Okay, let me make sure that's correct. Eight and a half by four. See, I almost made a mistake. So, eight and a half by four. Oops. Make sure they're lined up good since I'm cutting both. Cut it at four. Bring our scoreboard. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and score this. At four and eight. Gonna just do both really quickly. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it the long way and score it down at two. Oops. 
sometimes um, looking at the camera it looks I don't know why but the light is beeping um, so the battery might die mm. if so I'll just continue on um, with the other camera I'm going to go ahead and reinforce all of our score lines go ahead and line it up And then we're going to go ahead and score this and try to kind of, because um, it'll like kind of want to buckle because we're folding two piece, two uh, layers here. Kind of want to make it so that it stays straight. Sometimes it. Let's try the other way. Don't want my cardstock to crack. Make sure it's lined up. It kind of cracked. That's okay. Can um. Go ahead and if a little bit is peeking out, we can just cut it. I know we could do it uh, different ways, but this was the fastest. Okay, and go ahead and trim off. And then we're gonna attach our glue. Tuck these in. Go ahead and glue it, and then we're going to fold it. Okay, so that's how I got the other one. Got to kind of um, play with that. Okay, so go ahead and adhere that down, and then fold it. And then I'll go ahead and make, um, so two pairs, so here's, I mean three pairs, so here's two. So go ahead and make one more, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we made three pairs of those, and obviously I didn't cut uh, six tags. I cut only four because I don't know if I want to uh, put some pattern papers in the other ones or something. So I only put four for now, and you can see that it is all stuck down at the bottom, and I use a half an inch score tape just to keep it a little bit close at the bottom and keep it contained like so. Okay, and then we're gonna make the belly band to go around. So I'm gonna cut it at four. And let's see what this was. Okay, four and a quarter. Okay, and we're going to connect these two together. So you want to use a very strong tape. And I'm going to go ahead and use my um, half an inch. And let's see. Do I want to cover that up? 
Okay, um, before my camera dies, I want to quickly give you guys the measurement. So we're going to have, uh, this is four and a quarter. You're going to have one sheet like this that measures seven. You're going to score it at two and a half. And then you're going to score it again at um, two and three quarter. So that will give you our front right here, like so. Okay, so we're going to attach it. I'll probably put tape only like up to here. Okay, and then our back part is going to be 10 inches, four and a quarter by 10 inches. Go ahead and score it at five. Five, and, no, go ahead and score it at five and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, and that will get attached like this. Okay, you see that? Okay. And then we're going to attach these um, flaps together to create uh, one. Oh, so it will be stuck down and it would look like that. Okay. So then um, you can go ahead and stick it down. Okay. Like so. Just make sure it's not too tight at the top here. You want a little bit of some wiggle room so that your thing is not super um, tight. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch uh, between my tag topper to the top. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this like so. Okay. So don't attach this flap. This is going to get tucked under here. And then we're going to put a belly band around it. Okay. You want to go ahead and put tape up to maybe only half right here. So cover this half with tape. Stick it down. So then this kind of has a little opening. And then we can go ahead and tuck our front flap right in between like that. Of course, back is going to get attached. And that's not going to show because we're going to cover it. Okay, so do that. And um, if you want, you can go ahead and cover. But uh, do that and then I'll be back. Okay. Okay, so I'm back and I've done, done some uh, more things. So this is, um, I think this was part five, the continuation. I cut off as I was making the, um, the little album, I guess a matchbook style, not an album, it's basically just tags and um, for our belly band here so we can tuck it in there. I haven't um, attached anything. Of course we can uh, cover this with our pattern paper here. So today uh, we'll continue. I'm, I don't know if I want to go ahead and ad adhere this down yet because I don't know what I want to uh, put inside. So um, this is what we had and what we did and we only, I only put four tags in here so far, but can fit six or more. So what we, what I did was, um, remember the measurement I gave you? One for the bottom and one for the top. And I just went ahead and laid it like this and kind of centered it. And there's a score mark right there. And then, um, so I put this down right to where our quarter inch score is. Try to center it as best as I could. I laid that down and then um, I put this from the back. I tucked it in 
and then I brought it like this line it up and you can use um, like things like this to clip it so that you can keep it together and then um, I flipped it over and then I attached us uh, where is the seam uh, the score tape so that we can attach it on the back so it becomes one like a booklet like that and um, so I haven't attached this is obviously separate still and we can um, mat the back before we tuck this in and then uh, what we'll do is we'll put score tape here cover generously and here and then we will stick it on later eventually like this okay and then we can mat uh, the rest and then we're going to tuck this in here which is going to give us a flap right there little area and that flap is going to get tucked right there like so okay and then we have a belly band here that i uh, cut this is just the uh, that pattern paper and i basically i didn't cut it or anything this still this is still a 12 inch I believe by one and I just kind of wrapped it around it for now um, once I fill whatever that I want to put inside and then we will go ahead and attach the belly band so that the belly band can be pulled out like this and then we can flip it over and uh, view what's inside okay so this is the for now so that's that and we can you can see that our album is getting filled because I keep adding stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this right in there and that's gonna look really nice once it's matted okay so today we'll be making some uh, envelopes as well as some tags okay and let me Kind of show you what I did so far so what I mean by envelopes is these right here so there's a couple different ways you can make it you can make it open pocket like this you see that that's a uh, pattern paper and um, I just made it a little notch and then this is a cutout from um, uh, I don't know if it's cut out or print out but I had like a whole bunch of these tags so I just went ahead and tucked it in you uh, you can definitely put some twine or uh, something to have it hanging for now I just left it like this and remember our little um, flip out here okay and then this was a pocket so I went ahead and just tucked it in here for decoration for journaling and things and this is like a library card type of thing that you can uh, probably find a free printables and I distressed the edges and of course I inked it with the vintage photo okay I inked everything here so I'm gonna leave that there for now okay and then I probably gonna use some this as a closure but uh, I'll probably like dangle something on here so that it would look nicer I mean and then uh, we're, I'll show you how I created this tag remember the tag um, and you can also stick something in there uh, tag in here as well if you like okay but she's pretty so I just left her like this so each time I come back, it's like I've added um, more things, okay? So I just only have that, and then I have some bingo cards at the top here. And then we still don't have anything in here in our belly band, but some tags or the uh, policy envelopes. Um, and then we still have our album that we did in that. Okay this doesn't have anything yet this is the only pocket that really doesn't have anything here uh, and that's because this is already uh, heavy so when you open it up and I also put some of the library cards type of thing you if you 
this is where like stamps come very useful if you have line stamps and things like that then you can make your own journaling tags and go ahead and stick them in we will do that if you want me to show you I still haven't matted any of these and um, same thing I haven't touched any of those so here is the other envelope you see that and this time I mean I just the other one I just took this part off I cut it and then just put a notch and then um, so this I probably gonna just keep it like this and you can um, what's great about these envelopes you can like tuck in like um, little tickets or memorabilia or whatever and then just keep it in you know if it's you have small things that you want to remember you can just put it in the envelopes here I have like just a bingo card here which is just a you know um, from many paper pads have it so another way you can make your tags is by using these index cards um, you can get the regular uh, index cards you can ink it up and then uh, if you have like these tab punches that would be really cool um, I have um, one this was already like this and so I just went ahead and then distressed it it's uh, just something for decoration you can journal on it if you like put some things there but for now I have it here okay so we'll probably make some envelopes today and some tags so again here I So this is another envelope that I made. This is what I'm going to show you today. So these are kind of like the policy envelopes that I was talking about. Uh, they're called either policy envelopes or those coin envelopes that you can get at like the bank or you can probably find it at the office supply store. And what you can do is you can take them apart and then use that as a template to make your envelope. Uh, this particular one is not a template. This is just something I just created. So I'll share this with you. But the other envelopes that I showed you before this are a template that I copied, like these. Okay? So these are um, templates that I had, and then I just traced it onto a pattern paper, like so, and I just freehand it okay so and then you can ink it up I haven't attached this yet because um, I, I don't know what I want to put inside and so I just went ahead and tucked it in here oh, okay so this was our last flap and what I did was I made a pocket out of it because it would only had this and this paper so I just added another paper like we did uh, for the other pocket and just put some washi tape here Put a line, a bead of glue here, and uh, made it into like a trifold. Okay, so this measures five by nine, scoring at three and six. And you trifold it, um, and then I just adhered it using um, the washi tapes. All of these I've uh, reinforced it with uh, score tape so that it doesn't come off. Okay, so that's what we have, a little extra flap here. Okay, so I'll show you how to make this. Since I can't really give you the template for this, because I don't know how to uh, load it and for you to be able to download it. I don't know how to do that, so I'll just, that's why I came up with this. Something simple, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And um, here's one of those other other tags and this is the same type of a hinge type of a pocket that we created for the matchbook I just created the extra one this was the original size I created and I realized it was too small and so that's why I created the other one a little bit wider so I just had this left over so I just tucked it in here and then we still have um, more extra things and so now our book you can see is getting filled yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna uh, keep continuing to show you how I'm embellishing it 
or if you guys like I said mentioned uh, you want to move on to the cover and things so maybe I we will work on the cover um, the chipboard cover page for the back the front and our spine in the next video um, so let me know if you want to keep continuing to watch as I keep embellishing because obviously it I mean this the possibilities are like there's so much more you can do so I mean that's up to you you can do them separately but for this measurement I just again put another tag that I made this is cardstock um, for envelopes and things I don't like to use like super thick cardstock because uh, that's gonna create additional bulk and um, sometimes when you like you know make envelopes like that and I, it just I don't want to add additional bulk if I don't have to so um, I like to use like a thinner pattern paper okay so like this is like a thinner pattern paper um, that I traced but for this this is just a craft card stock okay and I'm gonna um, show you let's see so you're going to cut it down the envelope of course you can always adjust the sizes to customize it to whatever size you want okay you just kind of need to kind of a little bit play around with it and see what works for you okay but for this specific envelope this is really easy I'm gonna cut it down to here seven so this is a 11 inch by eight and a half cut it down at seven and then I'm gonna cut it at seven and a half so it's gonna measure seven by seven and a half okay and with the leftover you can uh, cut your tag if you like so uh, for this instance the tag would measure four and three quarters by two and three quarters because the envelope size the inside of the envelope will measure three by five okay so we have that so you can use um, any of your favorite pattern paper that you're using to make the um, the mini Okay, bring the scoreboard here and we're gonna go ahead and score this okay guys wrong measurement sorry see what happens oh my goodness so this was supposed to be not seven and a half it was supposed to be six and a half okay so we're gonna cut it six and a half by seven so it's six and a half by seven so six and a half by seven Okay, so we're going to grab the six and a half side first, this way, so this measures six and a half, okay, uh, discard the other measurement, okay, so it's at the six and a half uh, side, you're going to score it at two, there's already a score line there, and then rotate it and score it at one and a half. So this is going to be the only uh, difference in the, because um, if you flip it to one and one, it's going to still be the same on both sides. This is a top and our bottom flap, what we're scoring at one inch. Okay, so at the six and a half side, score it at two, rotate it and score it at one and a half. So the measurement again is seven by six and a half.
So the other one, uh, we, if you do it seven and seven and a half, the envelope will just be a larger, wider. So you could do that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and reinforce our score lines. Disregard the first little score line here, made a boo-boo. This is a textured cardstock, so I want that texture side to be showing on the outside. And then reinforce our one inch score. If you have an envelope punch board, that's also great, which uh, I have, but I wanted to show you a way you can make without it. So we're gonna be cutting off um, these corners right here okay the four corners but I want to slightly go ahead and put a notch like we've been doing with our pocket that'll just help the envelope close better and I'm just eyeballing it you can measure this but I'm just eyeballing it See what I'm doing here. So, if you have an envelope that you want, uh, you can take apart the envelope, trace it, and then um, go ahead and cut it out. paper pile is getting I have more and more on my desk so you see one side is wider than this side and that's because this is gonna fold first and then this is gonna go on top making it centered see that and then you're gonna go ahead and attach it like so All right, so that's how you make the pockets. You can make as many as you want. And of course, you can, um, you know, widen it if you like. Just like how I did it originally. So here is that. And so you can go ahead and ink it up. And then um, attach the flap. Make sure it's not like this. Make sure it's the other way so it's centered. And go ahead and make your envelope. Okay. And you can use, of course, pattern paper, which looks really nice. And then what you can do is once you adhere it, if you like, you can cut this off and then you can put a little notch right there so that we make the other type of envelope so you can stick longer things down. So you would basically just be getting rid of this and then making a notch right there so that the things can you know stick out from it but for now I'm gonna leave this one as a pocket flap and then the tags which will nest nicely in there so you can make some personal journaling if you like that doesn't want to you know that you don't want visible and once we um, you know can decorate put some little things there we'll do that later so where is the tag that we cut so there is the this is the tag that we cut for the inside of the envelope that I said it measures two and three quarters by four and three quarters is our tag And all I did was I rounded the corners. I used the half an inch corner rounder. And you can do this to all, like any of your pattern papers to make a tag, which I will be doing uh, later too. You know, these gorgeous pattern papers, you can, you know, cut it down and then you can, <clears throat> excuse me, make a uh, tag with that like this right 
so that would be really beautiful and it would match so that's what I have I inked it up using vintage photo okay and then what I used was this these are the uh, ground reinforcement label stickers here uh, you can get at the office supply store and all I did was um, just took a page out and then I just took the ink pad and just smushed it all over and that just gave us um, reinforcement so it doesn't look plain so you can go ahead and just put that in the center try to center it I mean I just eyeballed it there and then use um, a regular hole puncher because it's uh, bigger than the crocodile one and then go ahead and punch the hole okay and then you flip it and then like so so you can make your own little custom tags like this if you like or you can pick up the uh, manila tags which I have in here as well manila tags here and then you can ink those up and things like that you can the larger ones you can even put photos and then little room for journaling or just for embellishments okay so that is for our envelope and the tag go ahead and put this away See, I had like smaller like coin envelopes like this. I have it tucked away somewhere um, that I picked up at the office supply store and I can't find it because I haven't made a mini in so long that I put all of like the envelopes and all of those things away because I wasn't using them. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in somewhere forgot where I had it so you can kind of see what you can do using the paper as an embellishment and you can make like your own envelope and things I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it in here for now bingo cards are always fun um, they're just embellishing embellishments so this is a larger of the um, policy envelope You know those like yellow ones or is it orange so I'm gonna show you how we made this tag okay obviously these are too long and they're sticking out way too much now I don't want my cover to be this long so I do want to take those out okay so you want to determine how big how long you want um, your tag part to be and because this is double sided paper it's really nice so this measures about 9 and 3 8 so I want to bring it down to 6 inches these are identical so I'm gonna go ahead and score it at 6 inches Are you guys getting bored? Is this uh, is taking a long time? Let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, okay, wait. I wanna, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and reinforce our fold. And you see that, see I always um, 
I don't want to cover her up that much. That's like half of her. So, thank goodness this is a darker paper. Sorry, I keep doing this. I want to make this actually, oh, this is too small. Probably seven. It will come up about here. Yeah, so I want to make it a seven, not six. Because I don't want to cover her up like halfway. So go ahead and score it at seven. You can keep it at six. That's all uh, per personal pre preference, whatever you like. But I want mine to be at seven. Go ahead and reinforce it. So like so. The thing about double-sided paper is that it matches, so that's pretty cool. You don't have to do much to it. Oh yeah, back to what I was saying. Have you guys checked out the store yet? The Tupelo Designs LLC. They, there's so much products coming in. I am like so excited. It's on pre-order. And as soon as... I'm going to go ahead and put my tape where I'm going to put the washi tape. So basically where I scored. Because I'm going to connect it with the washi tape. It's so much more simpler than trying to um, cut hinges to make the pocket. And we don't really need like a huge pocket anyways. We have enough pockets already. <laughs> so this would be like a tag pocket. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. So many excited things. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, the, my biggest excitement is, of course, always like, you know, the coloring thing because I love coloring. Um, Dan is bringing in the Faber Castell Polychromos, guys. Oh my god. You know, you guys know that I got some. I mean, I, um, uh, for Christmas, I uh, purchased the 120 the set because I wanted all the colors. And guess what he has? He has the 120 set. That's amazing. And as well as like all the Prima, the watercolor paints. Really excited about that. Because they're kind of like pan watercolors. Kind of like, you know, like artists use. But, um, you know, it's very affordable. Because artist quality watercolors of pigments are so expensive. And so I think this is a great way for us to try it out. As, uh, you know, us paper crafters. I believe it's half pans. Not quite sure, but um, and because I already inked these, if you haven't, go ahead and ink around the edges. Doesn't have to like be perfect. I just don't want the washi tape to come off. I really like this washi tape. Just like um, his tissue paper. I mean, I don't. This is tissue tape. That's what he calls it. Just like his tissue paper. So I like it because it's kind of like see-through. Oh, and the um, Cosmic Shimmers Color Cloud. That is gonna be pretty cool. I am really excited for that. You can get such an even, smooth blend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the little uh, blending tool that they have kind of looks like a little egg. Pretty interesting stuff. I like the fact that they bring in, um, you know, products that's not 
kind of like not ordinary I mean not you know not most stores would carry and that's what I love because I've been want when I uh, found out about the color cloud I wanted to try some out but um, I couldn't find the US seller and so you know it that comes from the UK I mean they ordered it from a US distributor so it's not coming from UK but um, it's made there So yeah, every time I check the store, it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, like there's new products that's coming in constantly. So that's very exciting. I love um, new products. And you know, uh, from CHA 2016, there's like tons of them. So I'm so excited. Okay. Go ahead and flip it over. Oops, make sure you get it straight. Actually, it doesn't even matter if it's not straight because this is kind of like uh, see through, you can't really see the crinkles. Okay, like so. Okay, there is our pocket. And then you can cut off whatever that's like hanging over. Isn't that cool? I like that. Still have time to get a free blending tool this month. $35 and over you get a, I'm sorry, not blending tool. Uh, the mini distress ink pads. Free shipping in the US. Promotional rate international. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the bottom because we folded it. Maybe darken it up a little bit more. And we can punch a hole if you like. Or um, we can use a tiny attacher to attach things on top. I have some of the pattern paper of the roses cut that I want to kind of use for decoration um, here and there. So we have that. And then now I want to go ahead and find out, you know, same thing, like you can do same. And like just like this, I want to go ahead and find something of the paper that we can put right here. Go through all the papers. This paper is so beautiful. I love 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 graphic 45 paper line See, I cut things out of it and use it as embellishments. So many possibilities. A sheet is so beautiful. I love that. I thought I had um, cutouts. Yes. Of the same. I think I want to go ahead and put this right here. Yeah. Kind of ties together nicely because um, kind of uh, it was from the same paper. 
I want to go ahead and trim this at the edge a little bit. Actually, I'm going to cut it right to the little frame, I guess you can call it. So after part after this, um, depending on um, what you guys would like, I may move on to the cover and finishing up the book. But I'm gonna take a quick break because I want to do some art journaling. I want to do some uh, playing around. <laughs> with some, you know, like sprays or something like that. <laughs> so, just, I want to play. So I'm going to take a quick break, not like a whole, like a week or anything, just like, you know, probably like one day or something like that. So I want to put a little notch here. Like for this one, I didn't because the thing was a little bit longer, you see? You know, we could have put the notch right here. But that covers it like perfectly. So I'm gonna add this and then I'm gonna cut the notch there. So that is my thought process, guys. Something fun. And then we can tuck something in there. Maybe one of the same um, pattern paper. So again, this was cut from here using our stitched don't forget about your um, dies. You can definitely cut it, you know, and to make embellishments or accents to your um, album. And then after we make some of these, I'll probably start matting our, like, um, the mini little album additions that we put inside that we didn't mat yet. And I'll probably finish matting those. I'm going to go ahead and butt it up to the top of the tag. So, see, and then I can go ahead and put a little notch there. Hopefully, I can fit my tap. Uh, ta I may not. Let me grab a tiny one. Try to center it. Two layers. Cut the two layers so that oops. See, there now we have a tag pocket that we can put in anywhere and we can probably like put this little girl here maybe the light bulb I'm just cutting it with my scissors
probably need a little bit of color so probably add something else along with it something with a bit of color maybe like the rose or something like that yeah something like that you can make a little notch and make this into a tag okay you see we created a tag pocket this one I closed it all up because I butted it up but um, you can do it this way so that you can tuck something else underneath. That's what I should have done. Do I want to? Mm. No, this one I'll just keep it like this since it just fits perfectly in there. Maybe for this I will probably make it like this. Well, I may end up taking it off. But anyway, so that is that part. So little parts like this is super fun and I will probably put more of them. You know, cause like, it's really fun, something different. See, I still haven't done anything to our first page as well as our back page. Let's see if I showed you everything. Yeah, maybe I might make a little uh, tag. Are you guys tired of pockets yet? <laughs> maybe I'll put her right here and then maybe glue only the two sides. Oops. Glue only the two sides here so we can tuck something right there. You know, like so something longer yeah maybe I'll do that okay this doesn't have anything okay so this is a pocket right here so this is 11 inches scored it at three three and three I mean three six and nine giving us a leftover of two inches and we attached it only at the three sides giving us that pocket in an accord accordion fold something fun so I still have some room here to put some more tags in maybe I will put her here you can do it that way. Maybe not. I really, she, she's beautiful. I should have maybe used her for my cover. Um, I don't know. But she's beautiful. I don't want to cover her face up right now. So these don't have anything here. Still, probably make some little more pockets. Because I love pockets, like I mentioned, because of the fact that you can like tuck things in there for decoration. And you still can put a photo on it. And our matchbook album in here. I'll start matting these. Remember these that we made? Okay. That's already eight mats right there and then we can embellish and then this is just a I'm gonna keep it separate so you put a full-size photo here 
you can always stick things down not all the way so that you can tuck things in in there like this flap I didn't do anything to it to, to the front and the back and I still have this so here are some of the cutouts I'm gonna go ahead and mat these as well Okay, so this is again like I showed. This is the paper itself. You can attach little um, I'm really loving how it's turning out. Okay, so this is where I can put something again like so. I have these like really long ones here. I think I want to make these into tag pockets too. Because I don't want to cut it apart. Because I think it looks super cool. Maybe I'll cut it into like three or something and make a accordion fold. Which looks pretty cool. Don't really care for the back, so that's why I want it. This is really cool. It's interesting. So, I'll probably make a tag out of this, stick it somewhere. We still have here both mats. Showed you the envelope. Probably I'll mat these as well. Matting takes a while, so if I was to do it on camera, it would take me days. So that's why I uh, do a lot of it off camera because I mean it's just basics you know you cut it you distress it you attach it so I love love these butterfly pockets here I have another pocket here that doesn't have anything inside I'll find something to tuck in there it's still Okay, I'll probably add some things here. And then we have our belly band. So you can make one more of um, either this type of album or you can make it so that it just accordion folds out long like that I might do that for the other one just to keep it different for this belly band right here and then I still have these they're all empty Okay, and then we have our back page, which I don't know what I want to do. So at this point, um, once I finish matting these mini albums inside, uh, we can definitely probably make the cover. And as you can see, as we fill up the book, the spine straightens out. You know, before it was like all wonky, um, but as we fill it up, you can see the spine evens out. This was the spine that we uh, did the hidden hinge and I put the Tyvek, at, um, attached it. But then remember I made a mistake so I had to pull them apart. But that's okay because that is gonna get covered. I'm gonna go ahead and attach um, the quarter inch tape here because I don't wanna completely cover this in one piece. I wanna put the strip of tape right here along each uh, gusset so that the um, album will still have some movement okay because you it, when you stick it down flat like that you know when you open it these these are gonna spread so you know you want it to be a little bit more movable that's our spine I'm talking about so um, once I mat these things and then we can work on the cover and if you guys like uh, to see how I add additional embellishments. So this is when the trinkets come in. 
you know we're gonna start attaching metal pieces for embellishing um, what uh, what is that the brads the paper clips the um, you know we can attach charms we can put grommets eye eyelids so you know those metal pieces I will do I, I like to do it last uh, so that I know how everything is kind of laid out because you can tell that some of the pieces I still um, haven't filled yet so this is what we have so far guys so let me know what you guys think I keep saying that sorry I'm thinking as I'm kind of talking to you guys that's probably one reason so now this thing fits really nicely in here it's a perfect length so that I love that so you know I'll probably put mm, maybe Yeah, put her in here too. I don't know, anyways. But yeah, she fits nicely in there. We can take it out. Um, we can still add things to it. Alright guys. So today I showed you how to make the envelopes, extra tags, uh, pocket tags, and um, how you can make your journaling tags. Um, couple ideas here and there you, this is where you can use your stamp and a cardstock I haven't attached anything yet to my tags I thank you guys so much for watching I know this is a long series but you can see that I mean there's so many different ways you can go about uh, continuing on. I mean, that's the fun part of mini albums that you can, it's just every single one of them will be different. And that's why I think it's so fun. And whoever opens it, they have all of these. They'll take forever to go through these, you know? And then they can add in their own little flares to their album. So I thank you guys so much for watching. So this was part five. So let me know. Um, and we can move on to our covers and uh, make our spine and maybe attach that at the end but I do want to make a large um, policy envelope for the um, our uh, chipboard piece right here okay so thank you Check out the store for all the goodies and the new stuff that's coming in. I thank you guys so much for watching me and following me, leaving wonderful comments. Uh, love you guys all and thank you. Bye.